Okay, so everybody knows I'm a little bit excited about um, uh, this blue Corvette that's um, a C1 1959 big block um, Corvette that's coming down from 782 motors and what you don't know is the background uh, of which I'm not going to go into too much detail but I really want to give 782 motors a, um, a huge uh, shout out here. Um, it, it, without going into all the details of exactly, I, I did not get this car initially. I can say that much. Um, somebody had a change of heart and uh, Lockie from um, 782 Motors was just unbelievable. He um, remembered, <laughs> which was so good. Um, you know, and, and look, you know, can, can you imagine these guys put through millions of dollars of cars a month? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they have people ringing their phones 24-7. It just doesn't stop for these guys. It is just a, a you know, uh, hell of a time for them, uh, especially Christmas time. They want to get off and have their own break, you know, but um, people like me are still sort of saying, hey, can I have a car before Christmas? <laughs> anyway, all good. But I just want to say to, uh, to Lockie and the team up there at 782, um, really, really appreciate everything you did for me because you definitely went the extra mile for me and I you know sort of I don't think I've ever received service uh, out of anybody to the level and the you know just the uh, sincerity that uh, you know Lockie does uh, show in what he does and you know that's the problem is that you know you'll only ever hear the bad stories you know they, it's everybody's so quick to go to YouTube and to Reddit and the whole lot when they've got something bad to say everybody forgets to say something when you know it's it's better news uh, in this case you know excellent news let me tell you, this is sort of, um, I know this is not my ex most expensive car that I've got sitting here. Just, you know, make that clear. I, I understand that. Um, but this is a um, uh, holy grail car for me because I, I sold a 1962 version. Now, I never wanted the 62. Uh, I bought it um, because I wanted to see one Corvette and I couldn't get anything else here in Australia. Welcome to Australia. Uh, the limitations are certainly there. What I loved and what I was going to do was repaint my 62 and have the white cove. But the problem was I was already a... Um, a whitey cream color anyway so I was, was going to have to repaint the whole thing and uh, unfortunately my good mate who passed away VK uh, 2KT Bill um, um, uh, Bill, Bill Yeomans um, uh, pointed out to me underneath uh, someone previously had done a side exhaust on um, on the 62 I had they'd cut the chassis and uh, he picked it up in one of my videos and he said um, mate I don't want to burst your bubble but you know you have got a little bit of a problem here and you need to sort of think about just whether or not this is the car that you want to paint and do everything to and um, he was a hundred percent right it's you know it just wasn't uh, it was a car that um, um, needed you know a little bit more work done to it than I probably wanted to do uh, and you know it's just one of those things but um, uh, but look I must say um, in the end uh, you know, went to an owner who actually uh, did a lot of modifications to it, a lot of bits to it, made it, uh, it's over in Canberra actually, and um, you know, he's in incredibly happy with it. Um, and you know, I, I live with regret, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, of selling that from the particular point that it's taken me years to find another one, um, really has. And uh, you know, not everybody wants a C1 Corvette. Um, I, I understand that. 59 was actually my choice. Um, the, the rear exhaust and how it comes through the uh, bumper bar. Just, you know, uh, there's so many things. I could carry on about, you know, why I like 59s over 62s. Um, there's just some things that they did that was absolutely fantastic. And uh, really, you know, sort of, uh, uh, I, I was in love with this um, two months ago. It was something that um, uh, if I went through exactly how this car ended up in my possession, uh, it's probably, almost embarrassing that I, I didn't sort of buy it the first time um, uh, it just uh, it was just out of my reach at the time I had so many cars in stock uh, I had money being paid out by other auction companies that you know uh, had been a little delayed uh, to be fair not their fault um, it, it was a client fault um, uh, we yeah look I could go into a few things that you know <laughs> we had another 50 grand tied up in a uh, something that was just absolutely not gonna uh, sort itself out uh, overnight anyway you know these things happen and um as i said so good when somebody remembers you and yeah and lucky 
you're a legend, mate. I I don't know, you know, about whether things are meant to be or not, but this one certainly feels like it's meant to be, and you made it happen. So, Lockie, you're a legend, mate. Um, and look, I I don't know if this is legally correct. I'm just going to show you the video uh, that uh, 782 Motors uh, put up, um, and um, uh, you know, look, um, I'm just I'm probably not. I'm, well, on purpose, I'm not going to monetize uh, this video. Um, I, I don't want to monetize this video in any way, shape, or form because that's not the the goal of um, <clears throat> this. Is really, just to show my close friends, you know, sort of um, what's there. I did try to share it and try and if you go to my live, um, uh, what is it? No, not live. Uh, into my playlist, I was able to bring it across to my playlist, but I just couldn't bring it across to the video. And then I thought, you know what? I can't really explain how good Lockie from Seven Eighty Two Motors has been to me in you know text anyway. So in the end, I thought I'm just going to play this live here. And um, um, but look, you know, if I if I get a copyright strike because of this, um, uh, that is certainly you know, look, I'll, I'll obviously pull it down. Um, I don't think we will. Um, I don't think Lockie's going to be too you know sort of con uh, worried about us. Uh, yeah, as long as we're not monetizing this thing, we're not trying to make any money off it. But um, certainly, 782 Motors, you guys, um, let me play the video. Uh, and it's about four minutes long, uh, three minutes, sorry, three minutes 45, if I have a look. Probably the quality's not as good. Um, go to my go to my playlist, um, and you'll find it in there. Now, the good thing is, um, if you want, click off right now and go to my playlist, because then 782 Motors gets the credit of, the, um, of looking at the video. So, you know, I'm actually really, really happy for you to do that, you know, sort of um, as well. All right, let me hit um, play. Hang on, I've got to do this. This is going to be interesting. Um, Merry Christmas to everybody. My Christmas couldn't get any better. That's because 782 Motors, good old Lockie, look after, looked after me. And um, this is coming down soon. All right, guys, uh, Merry Christmas. All the best. I shouldn't talk during this video, but that looks so cool. <laughs> Big block just fits. Check out that grill. That's why you want a 59. Man, that just fits in there. It's beautiful. I would have bought those wheels, by the way. Beautiful wheels. Check out that interior. Battery in the back was never going to fit back in the front. MSD unit in the rear too. Hey, you love that blue. You've never seen me get so excited. I've got Porsche GT4s, Trackhawks, supercharged Mustangs. Never seen a video like this. I don't normally get this excited.
remember guys, got a couple of my classic cars coming up for sale very soon. I need the room for this thing. 911 Porsche will go up for sale. Convertible. Uh, supercharged Mustang will go up for sale. Keep the track all for now, like, sort of like that. Alright guys, 782 Motors, they are the guys, Lockie's the man. All the best. <laughs>